Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use my instant video site WordPress plugin. But before we get into that too much, I want to explain exactly what the instant video site plugin is and what it's best used for. So what this plugin does is it allows you to enter search words that will then be searched on YouTube for relevant videos and then it will pull in those videos into your website and create pages on your website. Now the pages that are created on your website will have a couple of things about it. It will have a title that is on the website that is in an H2 tag or an H1 tag for SEO. It will have the video on it and then the plugin will also pull either the caption or the description depending on how you set it up and enter that into the post as text. Now if it pulls a description that's obvious it's just a video description. If it pulls the caption what it actually does is it uses the YouTube API to pull the caption from the video and put it into post and by the caption I mean it's actually the conversion from the audio into text uh, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but YouTube actually converts the audio in a video into text and saves that in their database. And we can pull that in and add that as text to the post. So that way your video has an SEO relevant title, it has a video on it, and then it also has some relevant text. And anybody that knows anything about SEO is going to know that the best text to put inside of a post is natural text. Uh, Google doesn't like to see text that is spammed with keywords. They like to see it being used naturally. And this is, by definition, natural text since it is the conversion of the audio that's inside of the video to text. What this allows you to do then is to create sites that have a ton of content. I mean, you can have 10 pages, 50 pages, 100 pages of relevant content in your niche extremely quickly. Uh, now, you probably wouldn't use a plugin like this for your main site just because with the text conversion, sometimes there's a, a little bit of a mistake where Google will make a word, it will think a, a person spoke a word that they actually didn't and the conversion will be a little off. So I wouldn't necessarily use this on my main site, but what you would use this for is on other sites that then link to your main site. And this comes back to having a private blog network uh, where you're basically setting it up yourself and you're having other sites link to your main site in order to get link juice to your main site. And there's also a lot of linking options that are built into the plugin and uh, I'll show you them right now. In fact, the best way to explain the plugin to you is probably to show it to you. So let's go ahead and dive into it and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So let's just say I want to create a website that is relevant and based around the Facebook marketing niche. So I'm just going to enter my keywords and I'm going to type in Facebook marketing. Now I can actually add as many keywords as I want. I can put one per line. I can have tons of them if I like. But for this demo, I'm just going to use Facebook marketing. So then I'm going to go ahead and click on search. And what the plugin has done now, it has found 10 relevant videos with the keyword terms Facebook marketing. And you can actually see here where there's a max count option. I could have said to show me 100, showed me 500, showed me 1,000, uh, pretty much as many as I want just because YouTube is so big. There's always going to be enough content there for me. Now it's going to show me a list of the videos so that I can then pick the videos that I want to create pages out of. So I'm just going to click on select all and then I'm going to go up to the options. The first option is going to be the search and replace option. Now a lot of people have seen they've gone to a blog post and certain words in the post are highlighted and those are links. Well that's what this search and replace option does. What this will do is it will search through the text that the plugin generates and it will allow you to pick out specific words and make them links. And the important thing about that is that 
it allows you to make links back to your website to get link juice to your website again this is not something that you would use on your main site this is something that you would use on other sites that are designed to funnel traffic to your main site so for example I can actually just go ahead and type in the word Facebook and then I will enter my own URL to my blog and what will happen is now every time the word Facebook shows in the text that will actually now become a link to my blog. I can also add a pop-up if I want. I can upload a pop-up graphic and I can set up a delay and I can have that be a link as well. So maybe I want a pop-up to show after 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, I can do that and that will be a link to any URL I like as well. You can say there are other options as well here. For example, if I want these particular posts to go only go to a specific category, I can pick the category. And that way, if I have a site with multiple categories, I can make sure that I only have relevant posts in each category. It's also going to ask me what do I want to do for older posts. And the reason that this option is in here is, say you're making 100 posts right now, and you made 100 a week ago, and you accidentally clicked to some of the old ones. Do you want to just update the post? Do you want to create a new post? Or do you want to just ignore posts that are exactly the same as other ones that you've already made? Um, I'm actually just going to update them here. And then finally, it's going to ask you, what do you want to use for the text? Do you want to use the post's caption or do you want to use the post's description? Now it's important to remember, if you use the post description, sometimes when people post descriptions on their YouTube videos, they'll put a link to their own website or their own website URL. Uh, this plugin will actually pull out any links that are in the post description. So that way you're not advertising somebody else's site for them. So when it's all done here, everything's set up the way I want, I'm just gonna click on create video post right here. And as you can see, the plugin has automatically created these posts for me. And I now have 10 new posts with relevant content, videos, and SEO friendly header text on my blog. So if I go over here, I'm going to actually click to see one of the posts. See, there is my title text. There's my video. There is the text of my post which is all Google indexable, which is as real as you can get as far as text, because this is the actual conversion of this video's audio into text. So it's it doesn't get any more real speaking than this. So as I said, this probably isn't going to be the best plugin to create content for your main blog. However, for blogs in your private blog network or for blogs, in a funnel site which is designed to funnel traffic to your main site this is going to allow you to quickly create content that is indexable that has links on it and that is seo friendly on those pages uh, the key to creating funnel pages and a private blog network is to be able to very quickly create the content on those those other sites because you don't want to spend forever on them because generally you want to have as many of them as you possibly can these, the plugin is also fully editable. For example, if you want to, you can change the way the post is actually formatted. You can go over here and you can click on the settings. And you can actually see this is the post template. If you like, you can change the post template if you feel like you're comfortable with it. Uh, if you don't, you're more than welcome to just leave it the way it is and it will work fine just the way it is. You could also change your Google API key. If you would like to have your own API key and use your own Google settings, you can do that, or you can just use ours. So that's a quick look at the Instant Video Site WordPress plugin. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm always glad to be of assistance when I can. Thank you.